we back at it again. Another vacay. Spring break with the kids and stuff. Audrey, what you gotta say? You happy? You excited? Where you going? You see she got new glasses, y'all. She's so cute. They go Anaya. Say hi, Anaya. Say hi. I guess she wanna act camera shy. Serenade. It's dark right now, so I'm definitely gonna show y'all tomorrow in the morning. But this is what our room nice. looks like. We're definitely in the family room. Oh, the bed are big. I love that. We get to sleep in the same room. Oh, look, the toilets. Hey, girl. Hey. Little bathroom. Anaya, little bed. Good for when she wanna act up, I'm sticking her right in there. Um, you see the Wi-Fi info right here? You, it was in the card. That's that's where it's at. Yeah, he gotcha. said. Um, he said, said basically it's the key. Gotcha. Now, what the hell? Oh. Yep, so it's dark. This is the thing. I'm gonna show y'all more tomorrow. But we hungry as hell. Plane got delayed. I'll be back for real. This is the little mini bar too down here. Oh snap! Presidente, we definitely need some. Huh, baby? Let's go ahead, baby. Damn. Oh, we got the corner. I love this. Bro, we got VIP. You funny, Audrey. We got VIP. So this is basically the front of the hotel. This is nice. Oh snap, look at the, the food. Oh, I the restaurant. Steak there. I need some Love my baby in there. But yeah, I am ready to eat, y'all. We got here late as hell. My poor baby and all of us, we got to eat. Anaya. So yeah, I'm definitely going to hit y'all boys later. Bye. Boy. So this is our hotel that we're staying at. No, baby, I gave it to her. So this is what it looks like out here. We got a big balcony. We got like a little corner suite. This is the luxury suite. So it looks like this. It's really nice. Those up there are the, are the ones that got the tubs, the suites. And then the swim up ones are actually, they have rooms with swim up pools too. They're in the bottom somewhere. But this is like one of the restaurants right over there in the middle can't see because the sun is really gleaming but um yeah this is what it looked like and the beach you can literally see the beach all the way over there i love that and one of the pools is over here so yeah really nice this is the front desk right there loving this but yeah right now Right now we're just getting ready to get up and go um, probably eat at a snack bar because it's literally we missed breakfast. We got here so late yesterday. We got here so late yesterday. The plane literally was supposed to take off around 2.45. It ended up taking off almost like, almost at four, four something it took off. So it literally took all day. It took all day to get here. By the time we got to Dominican Republic, it was already six something. Then our transfer to the hotel, like basically an Uber taxi. I had booked it before the trip to our orbits. It took forever. 
So that was another thing. So that junk ends up taking forever. And then I guess the lady that, the girl that was supposed to pick us up ends up leaving. It was storming anyways. It was like real hot right when you got out of the airport. You know, we came in July and I had to do all this too with the whole transfer. And we had to wait like probably 10 minutes last time, but this time we had to wait longer probably because it was late at night. By the time we got outside and got to the hotel, it was like eight o'clock at night. But yeah, it's crazy. Like time literally flew. I haven't ate nothing yet, me and the kids. Thank God I brought like little snacks. The only thing is room service is taking a while to bring like Anaya her milk. And thank God that, thank God that, what's it called? I'm like, thank God I have brought her like cereals and little snacks. Of course, being a mom, you always gonna bring a whole bunch of snacks and stuff. And crackers and all type of stuff cause it's taking forever. Like, these, like, I'm like, yo, do you guys have milk and stuff? You guys could bring in room service. It's probably been like almost an hour and a half now, two hours, and nothing yet. So, let's see if they even come before we leave. If not, they could just leave that damn milk outside, or I don't know what they're gonna do. But yeah, um, the room is really nice. I'm gonna enjoy, but I'm loving this right now in the balcony and the view. So we're gonna head out to go get something to eat. Lunch. Yeah, because, because we missed we breakfast. Were no, they, we was tired. We missed breakfast. These are the babies. Show them your outfit, Audrey. Yeah, and then and not yeah. And then it's dark, but yeah, that's what we look like right now. Now we're about to get in the elevator. Bye. Okay. Little family spring break trip. You excited? But yeah, I see what they got to and stuff out here. Mm -hmm. Out of kind. I'm cutting out out of kind. Primer piso. Primer piso. What is that? This is the pool. Right over there. These are the swim up rooms and stuff. There's the water side over there. This is the buffet that we ate last night when we got here. And it is hot. The blue one is under reconstruction. They said because it was on the app, it don't work. But the other ones do. I think. But yeah, I think that's the place. Let's see. What is this? What is that called? Oh, this is the sorry. This is a Mediterranean, whatever you call it, restaurant right here. The hotel looks like a vibe so far. I want to see that one. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, DJ Kelly. What is this? Pool bar. That's the pool bar. Audrey. <laughs> you know that song. <laughs> Boy, it is hot out here. I should have put sunscreens on y'all kids. It's all good. I'm just walking around to see where's what kind of, you know. But as you can see, this is the pool out here in all the little slides. Yo, it's crazy how spring is giving summer. Literally. I love it. But this is the slides. Oh, look at the baby slides. Look at Naya. Wait, why is it not the Just don't lose it. It's going to cost us many thousands of dollars. Oh, Lord Jesus. Here you go. Yeah. Are you sure? 
Did they say that? I think that's the beach. Where are they walking to? Yeah, of course. Got you. Oh, so, so you knew? You seen on the yeah, I did, but I'm, I didn't know which way was it. I told you. No, you didn't. You told me back there, you said that way. Which, yeah. But I guess way. it was this way. I'm still recording. This is a game room in there. Okay. What? It is. Game zone. Game zone. This is like Mexican food yep. and stuff. So this is the one of the other restaurants and stuff. Gosh. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, this is Mexican. Hmm? They said that they have to me, Axer. Hola, ¿cómo está? ¿Cómo Muy bien. Nosotros llegamos ayer fue por la noche, so no sabemos bien dónde están las cosas. So esto es, tiene que ser por reservación, ¿verdad? Para el almuerzo no. Para el almuerzo. Desayuno, solamente para la cena. Okay. Para la noche es el sol fantasma. Eso lo puede reservar. Ah, este es el Surf and Turf. Sí, so ya yo lo reservé para tres días. So perfect. This is the Surf and Turf place for like at night time. But she said for lunch and uh, what's your, you don't have to reserve. It's only, or breakfast. Do they serve breakfast too? Sí. ¿Ustedes tienen desayuno? Todavía. Oh, sí. Ahora tenemos almuerzo. Almuerzo. Okay, sí. Hell yeah, dame sentado entonces. Do wait, let me see. Yeah. Do they serve everyone else or? Así, déjame preguntarle. So, el Tyson sí es cosa diferente en este de lonche. ¿Qué es lo que tienen aquí de comer? De cada cosita un poquito. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. tenemos cazuela de marisco, tenemos arroz blanco, uh -huh. habichuela negra, como decimos. Ya, yeah, sí, también. claro. Pollo guisado, reguisada, uh -huh. hamburguesa, okay. ternera, okay. plancha, chuleta, la plancha. La papeta hoy no sale. No, ya. Yeah. Salió ayer. Ajá. La sopa es de pollo y la crema es de vegetales. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ok. Y también si quieren pasar a verlo, lo pueden ver antes de Ok, ok. Okay, okay, yeah, they do. Okay, está bien, yeah. No, she has, they got burgers, they got stuff like that. Okay, está bien, está bien. Yeah, yeah, let's just sit in right now. Sí, sí, porque para no aguantarte la línea. Sí, la brisa. Where do you want to sit, baby? Over here is fine? Yeah. Sí, sí, está bien, mejor. No, it's fine, because of the, yeah, it's fine. Um, yo, yo la dejo ahí mejor en la silla o oh, sí, sí, sí. Perfecto. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde ve? Sí, mar fondo está bien, sí. Shut up, babe. It's more like to the back. Gracias, sí, está bien. Muchas gracias. Está bien, está bien. No, 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 worry. no te preocupes, no, mi amor. Gracias. Estoy para eso. Lo que okay. necesite, mi nombre es Damari. Mucho gusto. Ay, mucho gusto. Adriana, me llamo. Adriana. Sí, Damari. Gracias. Okay, okay, muchas gracias. So, para tomar algo, porque la cosa es como llegamos ayer, no sabemos muy, muy bien cuando uno. Cerveza, vino, champaña, mimosa. Ok, uh, yo cojo una mimosa. Um, what do you guys want to drink, babe? She said they got Sprite, they got uh, juice, uh, wine. Wine. Yeah, Thank you. Um, they got fruit punch, strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade? Tienen, tienen uh, limonada o no? Sí, yeah, they, got, they don't have, I don't know si tienen de traveri, no, verdad? Nada más limonada. Lemonade. Fruit punch. From yesterday? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, fruit punch. Fruit punch y, um, tienen jugo de manzana. Sí, sí. you want apple juice, Adri? ¿Qué quiere? What do you want? Ice cold water. Cold water? Yeah, no, it's not cold? No. It's cold. Tienen agua uh, con un hielo, un poco de hielo, si puedes traer. Sí, y um, para la niña apple juice, jugo de manzana. This is dark, okay, perfect. I have the camera literally like facing. But, that's what we came to this little, it's just Mexican cuisine spot, but they serve different type of lunch and stuff like that at first. So yeah, we could go there. She basically said that was pretty. Muchas gracias, sí, gracias. So yeah, basically, um, 
from this one. So yeah, they have no. like stuff. But she said, yeah, we. I just was like, you know what? Let's just uh, eat here. You know what I'm saying? Because so this is the spot we'll be eating on Wednesday, which is crazy. We would have never known because we gotta really act around. This is Mexican cuisine. She says this is where they do the surf and turf at night. Mind you, we got surf and turf reserved for the 25th. The steakhouse is maybe that one over there, but I gotta find out. We'll find out. Yeah. yeah. So, cause that just says Mexican, but she said they do have type of different type of shoes. Like right now, we don't have uh, French fries, but we do have burgers. We have rice. We got black beans. We got um. You will see. You can get up actually and go get your stuff and see. That's all go. You have fun on the slide? This song is so old, Jesus. I'm gonna go splash you guys. You gonna go again? Oh, we at the pool chilling. They got a little baby pool over there and stuff. And now Audrey about to get down. So, so far, this hotel is really good. You know, I like it and stuff like that. The only thing I could say. So, we leave already tomorrow, but we leave in the afternoon. We stay for five nights. The rooms is nice. The slides are amazing. Literally did the beach and the pool. The beach was super nice. They had cabanas out and stuff like that. Not like cabanas, like little ticky little stuff out. So they had a little tiki huts and stuff like that. And you could say you could be on the beach. The beach had, yes, like the little seaweed stuff a lot. But there were like two, three couple guys literally raking it up and putting it on the side of the beach. The beach isn't, let's say, the prettiest, but it's nice. You get what I'm saying? It's really nice. Um, The only downfall of this hotel, the Serenade Palm Beach, that I know people ain't going to say is the smell. So... Before I booked it, it's kind of like a landfill type of smell, like a sewer type of smell. So that's the only downfall this hotel have. Other than that, the food is really good. You know, we seen some reviews that people said they got sick off of the food, but I think it's just a mixture of foods that you are eating. You eating pizza, you eating wings. They have a sports bar. They have like a buffet. You do have to make reservations to literally like go to their hotel. So they have like, a, it's called Olivo. It's like a pasta place a mediterranean a steakhouse and i believe like a kayuki it's like a japanese type so that was the first one we did the first night it was really good videos that was really good we had a good time and stuff i ended up not vlogging that day my battery was supposedly exhausted i left my camera on by mistake so i wasn't able to vlog and stuff like that but today thank god you know we went to the beach and all that yesterday the Japanese place is good. The steakhouse, um, you know, my fiance, he liked the chicken. It was like a chicken and herb with mashed potato. Well, no, he got it with french fries. He said it was good, and I tasted it. It was good. Uh, um, Audrey had some steak, and I had, like, the kids' meal breaded chicken with fries. I ended up getting steak, but I should have got it well done. I got it, like, medium well, and I probably ate, like, four or five bites. It was, like, too bloody. Like, I was just like, oof. I can't. It wasn't, and it was like too chewy. So I felt like I was literally going outside and eating the cow. So I didn't really like it like that. But other than that, the buffet food has been really good. The breakfast has been really good. Um, the Japanese spot was really good. Um, the steakhouse, I wasn't too much of a fan. We went to like a sports bar yesterday. I'm going to hopefully be able to record it later on and stuff like that. That place had like buffalo wings. They remind me kind of like a little sports bar and stuff like that. Um, they had wings. They had like drinks. You know, they have like little drinks everywhere spot in the lobby everywhere. And then, um, yeah, the only downfall this hotel has that, of course, you know, I have other hotels that I want to like 
the food here I feel like the food was good too at the other Falcons Malia Resort which now I believe they changed the name to Preferred Resort sorry that's my child over here say hi Anaya say hi she's ready to go we're ready to go we probably it's been raining today so we're probably gonna head by the pool if the sun come out and then um what are we gonna do we're probably just gonna go we're gonna check out some little coffee shop they got in like the lobby or something like that and chill but yeah so far so good just the smell it hits in certain places some places is like real stinky then i'm like oh but really nice hotel when i say nice hotel they have a family side to this hotel and then they have an adult only side and stuff like that um yeah the beach was chill good they have a food truck out there they had like some chimney dominican sandwiches i had that was busting the kids had hot dogs they also have a place where you could get drinks from out there you know yesterday i didn't drink that much or whatever but the day before that i did so it was real good the drinks are good at first it feels like damn does Bertie have any liquor then after that you know we did tip them and stuff like that and um it started feel like they drink started getting stronger after you tipped <laughs> But other than that, um, yeah, it's been really good. So I'm going to head back with you guys when we go back outside and show y'all a little bit more of the hotel again. Because, yeah, I've been suck blogging, but it's really nice so far. How you liking? We at the surf and turf spa. Yeah, girl, me like. Why you don't eat it? Anaya knocked out. Hey you guys, so basically we back from spring break. No, I'm not talking to you, babe. <laughs> I'm vlogging. So we back from spring break and yeah, spring break is basically over. Audrey started back school today. It's April 1st. And so I wanted to give y'all a rundown of the hotel, basically. Like, I was trying to have fun, so I didn't vlog in certain parts or whatever. Uh, we literally stayed at the Serenade. Uh, it was called the Serenade Beach and Spa Resort. They have two si sections, basically. So they have one side that is family um oriented and stuff like that it's more for kids and then they have an adult side only obviously you know um they could come over like the adult side and go check out you know the little water slides and all that stuff so it was a good time the resort was nice everything was good but like i said in the last um uh section video i was like it had a smell to it so food wise food wise it was good as hell i feel like the food was better in this resort than the last resort falcons malia resort that crazy i think they just changed the name to paradises paradises because when i was looking up like uh packages and stuff like that i had noticed that they changed the name out of nowhere so I obviously preferred the last resort we went to back in July than this one. This one was nice. Like the kids had a great time. It was a good spring break. We literally went there for five days. The first day was literally like, it was a waste of a day. Like we ended up flying out with American Airlines. So we purposely flew out like around two, I think it was two o'clock. We ended up getting the flight got delayed like an hour and 30 minutes. By the time we got to our room, resort, everything was like seven something, almost about to be eight o'clock, which is crazy. It literally only takes two hours and 30 minutes to get to Punta Gana. So it was, um, it was good. Like, um, I just, that resort, they're supposed to be expanding it and stuff like that. So they're making like the water slice section that you guys probably seen like when I was there blogging. They're making it way bigger so they're gonna make that way bigger they're making it like on the other side of the hotel so that's one thing i could literally compare and contrast from the last hotel we went to the last hotel literally had a trolley that took you to the beach and they had a trolley that took you to the water park and they had a trolley to take you to 
what is it called? They had like little small amusement parks that had like little rides and stuff for the kids. They had a lot of virtual reality rides too and type stuff. Like I couldn't really get on it because I was with an eye. Plus I didn't really care to get on. But I feel like they have more activities and stuff for kids. Like they had a kids uh, playroom too in this hotel called Serenade. But the Falcons uh, Resort that we went to last time was obviously way better. So I don't know if they had like some type of plumbing issue, but 70% of the time we were there, we were smelling like a sewer type smell. A lot of people look like they turned off their nose or something cause they look like they didn't even smell it. And then when I did mention it to this couple we met like at the gift shop when we were there, they were like, oh, that yeah, the smell here is most familiar, like, you know, like on our country. So I forgot what country they said they were from, but it supposedly was given that smell, but we ain't used to that. You know, if it smells like sewer, something's going on. Um, and then the only thing, the rooms were nice. You know, we did have like a corner type. Uh, we had a luxury uh, suite, master suite. They had one that had like the one with the tub and stuff like that. But last time we went to the last resort, we really didn't use the hot tub like that or not. So we didn't care to get that. And we was with the kids. So I was like, you know what? The room was nice. I loved the room. The food was great. It was good. But after the fourth day, I was ready to go. I think the fit, like the days we picked to go on this trip was perfect. So I want to talk about like a lot of people are asking me like, how did I book the resort? How did I feel about this resort? Do I recommend it? Yeah, I'll recommend it. Like everybody has their own experience. Like Adrian brother, like oldest brother, he has been to that resort before and he never had a smell. So I did ask the front desk because me and the boy was just talking and stuff like that. And he was like, oh, it's something that has been going on for like a week or two. So something that they're probably fixing. So of course, whenever you guys go on the trip, you're probably not gonna smell that smell anymore. So, but other than that, the hotel is great, it's amazing. It has a whole like arcade too. The only thing about the arcade is literally you have to pay a dollar for one coin. Typically the games in the arcade is mostly for kids. It's like one coin per, you know, like basketball or two coins, whatever. So every coin is a dollar. So shoot, if you go with your kids and your kid keep wanting to play, you're gonna spend about like $40, $35 or something, you know? just for one coin so it was cool they had different restaurants out there but yeah i guarantee you like yeah i will recommend the hotel the only thing is like be aware it might be a smell but when his brother went it was no smell so that's what i'm saying like just because it happened to us we just because we had that experience, everything else was great. It was just a smell like, bro, what the hell is that smell? You know, you'll walk by like the pool area. Some days didn't have air, like twice didn't have the smell. Then you kept walking around certain areas of the hotel. You smelled it like in the lobby area. Like, uh, you know, we did smell it a little bit. We had a room that had two bathrooms. The first bathroom, it had this odd smell one day when the door was closed so we just left it open after that you didn't smell it anymore so it was weird it's like some plumbing type issue but other than that uh, the food is good the beach was amazing the beach they had people literally raking up the like uh what is it the uh, what is those freaking things called skin the seaweeds and stuff they have people literally raking it up with like a like a broom basically type stuff so of course, it wasn't like the bluest beach like you'll see if you go to Bahamas or if you go to another like place, but it was nice. It was a vibe. They had little tiki huts. They had a food truck out there that you could get literally like burgers and hot dogs and like a chimney uh, burger. That was good. I had a chimney burger and it was so delicious. Mm. So the food was really, really good. So everybody has their own experience. I feel like people have to go and experience it themselves to see if they're going to like it or not. And um, yeah, like plan that family trip or plan that couple's trip or plan that girl's trip or friend trip. And if you guys, you guys should go to Dominican Republic, period. Like Punta Cana, you're going to have fun. There's things to do. Like I always say, read all the reviews before you go. When I did book the trip, I didn't see nobody that said anything about the smell at all until we got there. My fiance ended up like checking to see if anybody updated the reviews. And it was, they were like, look. They're not gonna tell y'all this, but I'm letting y'all know. 
ain't nobody gonna say it in here but I will or something like that like somebody had wrote that on the comments or whatever it was like it stinks like something smells but other than that it's a nice hotel very modern they built it not too long ago and they're planning on making it bigger like a bigger water park and a bigger area i guess so yeah food was good i you know i we didn't get sick thank god that's one thing i'm like happy about we didn't get sick no food sick no none of that so yeah i recommend you guys to book a trip to dominican republic um so how do i book the trip basically so I either use X Orbits or I use uh, Expedia. What is it called again? Let me see. Yeah, I think it's X. Let me see. Yeah, Expedia. So it's basically you can literally book flights on there. Like when we have gone to Orlando, Expedia or Orbits. I usually use Orbits. I've been using Orbits since like more than like six seven years already since audrey's been little i booked the trips the hotels to go to orlando on there i book uh flights and we need to do like a whole package so a lot of people don't know that you could book it from so you just check the prices and see you check the prices on expedia and you check the difference on orbits usually i always go on orbits because i already have basically like um what is it like a gold metal type membership so they give me certain discounts already on there because i use it a lot and i have used it even to book a like a stay at home trip like i'll go on there and use it you know besides airbnb basically and stuff people use airbnb as well but orbits will be the place that you literally orbits or expedia that's gonna be like your travel if you want to go out of state out of town to atlanta or georgia wherever you want to go you can literally look up flights and packages if i want to go out of like in the caribbean i literally there's like a package basically that you could um it basically includes your flight just of course always make sure like the more people of course you go on like us is just really us four so it's my fiance, Audrey, me, and Anaya. Anaya, she's only one years old. So technically right now she's only paying taxes and stuff like that. But they know how to get you. When you book on that flight, it'll be like, oh, it's only 2,000, 3,000 something. Then when you're trying to book with a certain airlines, they're gonna charge you a little bit extra. So they're gonna charge you a little bit extra just to choose that airline and the time frame. Because no, I don't wanna wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning to catch a flight at 6 a.m. So of course I'm gonna pay a little bit extra to accommodate the time that is good for me and my kids. So that's how I booked the flights and stuff like that. This trip period was like 3,800 and something. So 3,900 basically rounded up. And that's, you know, before you buy your outfits, that's before you buy swimwear for you and your kids, swim up diapers, things you need to take on the trip like travel size stuff you know you always want to get cute before the trip even though the people in like wherever you're going have never seen you in your office but you want to be cute for the trip for you your kids your fiance your husband your boyfriend whoever you literally want to look nice so you're going to spend money too or whatever you gotta spend a whole lot shit you could take your ass to tj maxx burlington you know raw whatever shop online go on sheen sheen always has the nice little outfits pretty little things fashion over but of course you got to do shit ahead of time because if you don't do shit ahead of time you're gonna be like me i was literally at target because they you know target got a huge swimwear section for kids and it was cheap too it was like 20 percent off it wasn't cheap because shit added up but it wasn't as bad so we literally and got, got my hair done before the trip i am not trying to do my child's hair and my hair at the same time that would have been crazy so you know i had everything in order um make sure you create a checklist before you to go because you don't want to you don't want to leave your passports you don't want to leave any important stuff that you need to take with you you know diapers none of that like i make sure like we literally went with a carry-on like it was only for four days and I had a big tote, my bag with me that I literally stuck. Any accessories that I had, I had it in a little clear pouch. Any like things like intimate wash, every all that stuff I had in a clear little pouch. But I diaper, I literally put it 
inside of my luggage and she had like a small diaper bag so since she only paid taxes i'm like i'm not too sure if you could take a carry-on basically for her so and plus we were only going friday she had like a big diaper bag took that put some stuff in there and then put some stuff in my bag so you know i didn't take so much stuff i took a lot of like vacation stuff swimwear so one side i put my stuff in some stuff i put some of her stuff i put on one side so every time i go somewhere i like taking the bare minimum besides like my makeup and all that stuff i put it in my bag and i'm ready to go but yeah it was a good trip literally um if i had to rate it it'll be uh eight out of ten like probably a 7.5 out of 10 yeah i probably said 7.5 out of 10 just because of that smell it was really bad but other than that the food was great i wish the hotel had a little bit more of activities to do and stuff like that but it was a vibe it was really a chill vacation a uh, cool hotel and um yeah that was basically it and now we're back home and stuff so it's back to normal programming taking audrey ice skating taking her to you know her activities like karate and uh swimming so getting back to it uh you know right now she's actually in school while i'm blogging the baby's taking a nap like they're just growing like it's crazy audrey has gotten so tall and stuff like that and you know she loves going to her karate and stuff she got a terminate uh, a terminate a terminate <laughs> whatever the book coming up this week so I gotta see if I gotta take her to her, I gotta be taking her to her like practice and stuff this week and stuff. Um, yeah, so it's back to normal programming. It was a good vacation with the kids. I didn't have to worry about, and that's another thing, I didn't have to worry about feeding nobody, you know, because it was all inclusive. So it came with the food and everything. If you wanna do something else, like of course, excursions and stuff like that, of course, that's gonna be extra. It doesn't come with the hotel or none of that. Like, if you wanna go, they have bun, bun duggies, whatever you call them things. Like, you know, four rillas, RTVs, they got that. They got certain places you could go check out waterfalls. They got a lot of stuff to do in the Burger Republic and Butacana, like it's definitely a trip that you're gonna have fun you're gonna drink you gotta stay hydrated because yeah i literally i think it was the second day i ended up drinking a little bit too much and then i was like oh no i'm not gonna miss dinner the best restaurant was the hibachi spot like mm -hmm eating hibachi mm -hmm. that shit was good that was like my favorite 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 one and that was like the first restaurant i have booked a reservation so that's another thing too that you gotta book your if you go to that hotel you gotta book certain restaurants the reservations like on a link like which is in the front desk they give you like this qr code to scan while you're there the first day that you come if it's too late you can't even book a reservation so you'll have to do it the next so we tried three restaurants the first restaurants with the hibachi spot then it was the steakhouse then it was um the surf and surf place the surf and surf place was good it was a salmon the steak at the steakhouse i really asked for it well done i didn't ask for it well done and it was like felt like it needed a little bit more cooking and I just, I couldn't eat it. Like, it felt like I was eating a freaking cow. Like, I was just munching on the cow, like, no. So I didn't eat that. But the buffet actually has really good food. Like, you know, typical hotels, they'll be like, oh, the food isn't, uh, the food wasn't good at the buffet. You gotta go to the restaurants. No, like the buffet at this food, at this hotel, Serenade Palm Beach Resort was good. So yeah, this is literally my, um, my experience. I'll give it a 7.8, probably an 8 out of 10. Um, beautiful resort, beach was nice, food was amazing, um, just that smell. Other people go and they have not had no issues with no smell, so obviously, you know, I would suggest people to book and still create their own experience. You know, you create your own experience, you see it for yourself, and maybe you'll go and it won't be any smell. It's just the time frame that we did go, it was like a weird off smell going on. But other than that, um, yeah, you guys should definitely book that vacation and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>